Uh, morning. Well, after a couple steep hikes in Tucson, I am back at it and uh, I'm doing a new hike called the Reverse Flatiron. Somehow, I'm working my way up there to uh, the, whatever the point is above Flatiron. Um, and then going flat iron, then going down the standard siphon draw trail to loop back to my car. So I'm at the Massacre Grounds parking lot where I just was less than two weeks ago to do the waterfall and climb up above the waterfall. So that is the start. I'm going to do that for the first, you know, three miles, get up above the waterfall. And then uh, I have no idea. And then it's just off trail exploration up there um i don't know how sketchy it's gonna be i don't know how difficult it's gonna be um but we're gonna find out well we've hit the waterfall and it's uh barely a trickle much different from uh when i was here less than two weeks ago so i am uh instead of going right by the waterfall I'm going to cut across right here, go up there, and bend around, and then that's where the fun is going to start. Alright, we've hit the saddle, the waterfall's down there, I dropped down before, but we are going up there, and that little local high point, we want to basically go right up and over it, we don't want to follow the drainage up, so I'm going to get a view from around this corner. Yeah, see, this looks easy to me. I mean, it's literally just working your way up here. Um, it's it's gonna be pretty tame, I think. You know, I don't wanna speak too soon, but I honestly don't think this is gonna be too bad with what I'm looking at in front of me. Well, there was that spire. We walked right there, and now we've come up not too far, but there are cairns. Uh, surprisingly, um, it's a little overgrown. I wish I would have worn pants, but it's not too bad. Um, I don't know if you can see the cairns in the camera. Um, so far, this is going swimmingly well. See, here's a cairn right here. Um, and now look, you can almost see. It legitimately almost looks like a path, so basically I don't want to drop down to the drainage, obviously. I want to make sure I'm staying high. So uh, I'm on the lookout for cairns, but if I don't see them, I'm just heading up and then eventually I'll run into another cairn, I think, or I'll just be closer to my destination and figure it out. So here. Like that's a cairn. There's one right here. There are actually a lot. So I'm just, I'm literally just working my way up through these rocks and it's not too steep. And it's definitely not sketchy at all. This is what happens when you don't wear pants. Yeah. Well, things are still going great. It looks like That'll be a steep push there at the end, but this looks easy to get across to there. Come up a decent amount. It might be, I don't know, probably not even halfway up from the waterfall. Just trying to find the best way. I feel like I'm gonna stay high. Little cactus. Oh, maybe I have to drop anyway. I'm trying to stay high when I can. Like I said, avoid, uh, drop and regain yeah there's a cairn up here it's honestly just following this ridge up and staying high because there's you can see there's a drop off on either side of me I'm sort of on a ridge that takes us up so see Karen ah. this is actually very pleasant and it's so open you can just climb all over and avoid any plants climb up whichever way you want ah. i 
think we've reached a relative high point here. Oh, damn it, we're gonna have to drop. Yeah, so we're gonna have to drop down to this saddle here and then stay up on the ridge up here around the right of that. And then, uh, then probably just up that drainage that you see from, I, I like to study the route from far away. So we're up most of the grassy knoll here. So it's interesting, the map shows when you get up, it looks like it bends around that way. Well, you could also bend around that way, it looks like from afar. Either way, I mean, aside from going up that vertical cliff face, it looks like either way, uh, when you get up there, it's easy to get around. Um, so I'm just gonna walk straight up this slope and then assess it when I get up. Like I said, my GPS track actually bends to the right, um, but this is so easy so far. This is just walking up a slope. There's like nothing steep or sketchy about any of it. Yeah. <sighs> That was just a steep, the terrain definitely steep in there. We just climbed up. So that was our little high point we were on, dropped up the grassy knoll, then just went up a steep, almost like a little gully um, on the right side of that rock. That was a little steep, um, but I see cairns. Basically we're walking right up the slope and then I, I would like to just go to the left and just pop right up there. Um, but it looks like maybe right there you could get over through a notch or something. So I might have to evaluate both. Um, but it looks like we have another steep sort of grassy slope. We gotta get up to reach the head wall. And then uh, we will have to make decisions and possibly make the wrong decision. Uh, I've more or less reached what I'm calling the head wall here. But now is where things could get fun. I'm not sure if I want to wrap around it on this side. I can go up this drainage or the right side. Like I almost feel like right here I could wrap around, but I could just get there and get stuck. So. And if I climb up here, I might get stuck too. Um, but this is that head wall. Um, so I forgot I had two routes. The one route went around to the right. The other one went up this way. So I have wrapped around. It's slightly difficult to wrap around. It's just real steep terrain. But you can see it's sort of opening up. I just i am going to go up this way. I mean, I could even just drop... I might as well just drop all the way. I mean, I say all the way, like 10 feet below me. Um, I'm trying to avoid dropping, so I'm like walking around these steep slopes. I mean, if I just like bend around and walk right up this drainage rather than, you know, climbing on these rocks. Okay. I'm walking on what? Almost looks like a use path, probably for mountain lions. But uh, look, if I just if I just walk through these rocks up here, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get up fairly easily. Oh, look, there's a cairn up there. Yeah, money. See, look at that. Not following the one route, trusting my gut instinct. Um. Ah, and now I just, look, see how it's starting to saddle up here? I'm almost up. Look at this. Nice little turn, pivot. It's a big step here. Not easy. Got the GoPro in my hand. Ah, we made it to a cairn now. That was the objective. Oh yeah, look, this has just turned into a, a brushy slope. We are almost up. Oh look, this almost looks like a path right here. 
reverse flat iron has almost been conquered. Yeah. Where we're going, there are no roads. I think that's back to the future. Something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're not up at the proper high point, but we're up all right. Um, a little bit more, I might as well get up to the high point or I could probably contour around, but yeah. Flat iron's just on the other side down here. So I will check in higher up. Our high point somewhere up there. You can see the ridge line though, and here was here would be the drop off the saddle to start the ridge line. So we just gotta work our way up through these rocks, which uh, I don't anticipate being an issue. But I mean there's not a there's not a path or anything. I'm just walking up these rocks. I feel like it's not as steep coming from this side as the other side because those are like boulders. This is just like slabs that are easy enough to walk up. It's gotten a lot of, a lot more cactusy up here. Um, See, so yeah, I just gotta, just gotta get up here. I've been over on this side of the summit before. I walked over, not down, I didn't drop. So it's up here, somewhere, through these boulders. We'll figure it out. Almost there. All right, we made it up. High points right here. I think our high points, we're about at it. Pretty soon, I'll see flat iron over there. There we go. There's flat iron. Woo! Flat iron. We did it. Reverse flat iron. Conquered. Dominated. Awesome. Nice wind out here too. It might rain. So I'm gonna tuck this camera away, scurry down flat iron, run around on the flat trail, and hopefully this took. For reference, this took almost two hours, like an hour 55 to get up this way. So I'm gonna ski daddle down and uh, I will see you at the next hike somewhere. Reverse flat iron, definitely worth doing. Awesome little hike. Back at the car, I actually made it in like three hours even. Um, so I was, I made it down in just over an hour from the high point down flat iron then whatever mile mile and a half of uh trail running so went up there up and over down back around 